What's up, guys, and welcome back, finally. I know it's been forever, um, but we're here to talk about the new-ish uh, movie, uh, vampire movie. Obviously, you read the title. We're talking about Day Shift, and this is going to be positive reviews here on Geekborn. Um, you know, I, I don't like to really criticize, and I usually like to talk about things that I have fun with, so... If I'm talking about it, it's probably because I had a good time with it. Here we are talking about this movie. Time recording has been out for about two weeks, so if you haven't seen it already, it's kind of a surprise because it's on Netflix, and of course everybody flocks to everything new on Netflix because they're deprived of anything new to watch. <laughs> um, but I had a blast with this movie with jamie fox as the star you got cowboy snoop dog throughout the movie you've got dave franco who honestly you know is kind of a wimp at first which is hilarious um and then he just becomes this great hilarious character throughout and uh there's some stuff i want to get into but uh we're gonna you know, just want to preference that before we get into spoilers. I had a great time. It is a zombie flick where Jamie Foxx's character pretends to be a pool cleaner and then actually is a zombie um, or vampire hunter. Not zombies. But he's a vampire hunter, goes out, and uh, but he isn't part of the union anymore. Um, and that's, you know, the gist of it for the start. He needs to, you know, make some money. Um... And just the premise alone seems kind of ridiculous and just knowing who's in the movie fantastic I had to watch it um, so we're gonna get into spoilers so if you have not seen the movie go check it out it's on Netflix I had a great time it does have like a 50% on Rotten Tomatoes but I think that is ridiculous there are some parts that you know are a little unbelievable whatever but it is a, a vampire hunting movie Starring Jamie Foxx and Snoop Dogg, and yeah, like it's a it's a fun popcorn flick. All right, um, this ooh before we also get into spoilers, this is the directorial debut of J.J. Perry. He has worked on a lot of stunts in several movies. He's worked on John Wick Two, uh, very notable. Um, I am sure there are plenty others. I just didn't do a whole lot of research because I just watched this movie, like finished it an hour-ish ago at time of recording, um, but I took some notes, figured we'll go over a couple of those real quick, I really enjoyed a lot of the fighting choreography, especially about halfway through the movie, I believe, when there's a huge fight scene with this set of brothers, uh, originally, Jamie Foxx is going out on this hunt, um, it's like the second day after he gets back to the Union, uh, so I guess to catch you up because we're talking about spoilers, Jamie Foxx, he's the hunter and he's going around, he needs to make money so he can keep his family, he doesn't, he's kind of separated from his wife, um, and his daughter, he's not really ever been around, apparently he's been lying to her a lot, realistically he's lying to her because he never knew how to tell her he was hunting vampires this whole time, um, so there was always like lots of locks and he was always super secretive and didn't want to like endanger her or let her know what was going on. Didn't know how to tell her. Eventually by the end of the movie he does. Uh, so that's a whole big thing and we, we, that sets up a lot of the situation that's going on. He wants his family back of course and by the end of the film, yay, we get a happy ending and uh, they, they're going to work things out now that she knows the vampires are a thing because you know he killed the daughter of a very powerful vampire who's been around for a very long time, uh, who's also a realtor, which I thought she might be, like, making a community for vampires, because she talks about how they need to be united, so maybe they're, like, doing some foreshadowing for a possible sequel, which would be freaking hilarious, um, <clears throat> and very good, uh, like, I don't know, very much warranted in my opinion, despite how other people are feeling about the film so the whole thing he's trying to find the he's trying to get back in make some money he can't make money because he's doing it on the side there is a union of vampire hunters that i mentioned earlier this union of vampire hunters he was kicked out of 
apparently given multiple warnings before officially getting kicked out. Uh, Snoop Dogg's character steps in, says some kind words, gets him a meeting, and they go through and they they assign uh, Jamie Foxx, Vampire Hunter, back onto the union so he can, you know, work and make some union money instead of making, you know, money under the table. But there is a stipulation. He has to have a representative with him. And the representative that he has with him is the desk jockey that is played by Dave Franco. The best Franco brother, in my opinion. Um, man. Imagine just, like, going through and redoing some movies but having Dave Franco play instead of having his brother in them. That'd be great. So much better. All right. He's on in the union for the second day now whenever he is going on his patrol to, you know, go vampire hunting. And he comes across these brothers who are apparently two of the best vampire hunters. And we see, like, they are decked out with some crazy equipment. All kinds of different uh, vampire killing bullets. They've got blades in both the heel and the toe of their shoes so they can decapitate different vampires while they're going around and fighting doing a lot of hand-to-hand -hand combat on top of doing a lot of you know like the gun martial art thing that i can't think of right now um but the the fight choreography in that scene the the two brothers and jamie fox and dave franco all end up going into this house and they think that it's going to be kind of small not a huge thing turns out it's a hive there are tons of vamps in this freaking house and it is crazy watching this bloodbath of all these vamps getting killed and it is so much fun i freaking love it you gotta go check this movie out if you have not it is so much fun um, we get some cool references throughout the movie, so, uh, so some different things, of course, it's gotta, you gotta have some love for some other vampire flicks, uh, some choreog er, choreography for some things, some references to, like, Quentin Tarantino films, that kind of stuff, but then you have some kind of cringy stuff, like the reference where they talk about Twilight for, like, a minute and a half, um, Jamie Foxx's character is just like referencing a whole bunch of vampire movies and he lists like three different vamp three different Twilight movies in a row talking to Dave Franco and Dave Franco is like why why you know so many vampire Twilight movies like why why you why you know Twilight and he's like oh my, my daughter got me into it and he, but he's like but you haven't seen that that last movie though he's like Breaking Dawn Part 2 he's like Bella has a kid and he's like what Bella had a kid <laughs> it's it's hilarious, but cringy at the same time. You gotta love it. Gotta love that cringe comedy. You gotta love shows like The Office. You gotta like uh, Zach Stone is gonna be famous. That cringe comedy, that's where it's at sometimes. Um, we also get some cool shots whenever we're going through the movies, so I don't know exactly whose idea this might have been. I'm sure these kind of things have, like... There's some cool drone shots, which drone shots, it's a pretty popular thing. It's not like that's anything new. There's drone shots all over the place. You look on the internet. We're on YouTube. There's millions of drone shots on this website, probably alone. Not going to lie. Um, but to put them more in films, that be that's very interesting, really cool. Watching that whenever they're going through, and there's like multiple cars in this chase. So you go through, and you see a car, and it's going through, and then you see the drone go over, and it's following this other set of cars. It's a lot of fun. There's also a scene or a shot in that scene where we see like the underneath the front end of the car, like the camera is down underneath the front end of the car, and you can see in front of the car, but from underneath of it, and you can see a little bit of like the suspension on the side of the frame. It's a very interesting shot. Never really seen anything like that before. That was pretty cool. There are some semi-predictable but very interesting twist type things that happen in this movie. Um, like Dave Franco's character eventually gets seemingly killed off. Which I was like, okay, you know, it sucks. But I kind of thought it might happen at some point. This dude peed his pants the first two times he saw vampires like on the field. So kind of get it. Something was going to happen to this guy. Turns out, not dead. Okay, kind of figured they'd fake us out with the death. Not going to lie. Turns out, he's a vampire. Oh, it's a vampire flick. That's kind of interesting. Not going to lie. Then, he goes through, 
He tries to attack Jamie Foxx after becoming a vampire and realizing that he's hungry. Van Jamie Foxx murders his ass. Pretty predictable, but kind of interesting. And then it turns out that he was turned by one of the uber type of vampires because there are five different types of vampires that they have in this movie. Eastern, Western, Spider, Uber, and... There's another one that I can't remember, but they go through and they talk about him a bunch. Um, that's We'll talk about that in a minute, too. Um, but he was turned by this uber vamp so, turns out, he can't actually just be killed by being his head, getting his head decapitated, which they actually referenced earlier in the movie, which was kind of fun. I really like the way that they do a lot of that. They, they a few things that they go through and they'll do in the movie, and then they'll go through and then they talk about it later, just in context of the person. So, it's not getting... You're getting a bit of an explanation dump, but it's not, like, to you, like, because you need to know. I mean, they're explaining to somebody who doesn't know. Uh, like, for instance, Jamie Foxx goes through and takes a shower after the first encounter where he attacks a vamp. Goes through and uses this yellow powder stuff. Turns out, whenever vamps get killed, they emit some kind of gas pheromone type thing that attracts to a uh, tracks onto a person and they can eventually use that to smell you track you down he is made up this concoction of yellow powder use it on himself and he can get out of there well he explains that to dave franco's character later on in the movie we just see him use the powder and we're like what the fuck's that that's interesting and then he explains it and i was like oh damn okay that's cool and then they do some interesting, similar type things where they like talk about some different types of vampires and their different abilities or what have you. Not really abilities, um, like appearances and that kind of thing. And then later on they show up or they show up and then they explain kind of why they look like that, that kind of situation. It's pretty neat. I had a fun time with it. I totally recommend going and checking it out if you have not. Do not listen to all the people that are giving it like 50% on Rotten Tomatoes or like under 60%. Like, it's not the most amazing movie in the world. I'm not going to lie. It's not like, you know, Shawshank Redemption or Endgame, you know? It's 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 kind of, uh, you know, it could be a mixed bag for some people. I kind of get that. But at the same time, it's not... It's more of like a 70-75% more than a, a 50 to 58 or whatever it might be on those websites. I totally recommend, like I said, checking it out. This has been Geekborn. And remember, some of us are born geeky. You have a good one.